Namaste. Welcome and thank you for staying with us <laughs> as we were adjusting and experiencing technical challenges. That's part of life. Um, but thanks, I'm glad you're with us. And we are going to go gentle today and do some therapeutics. So as we get ready, this is what you're going to need. Uh, two blocks, if you have them. And try to find something equivalent if you don't have them. It's, it's a good idea for those gentle classes just to have them ready. Take up a few blankets and a belt or strap and uh, and a bolster like the one I'm sitting on a big cushion and today we're gonna use our practice to really get get stable you can just close your eyes and breathe as we get ourselves ready and just embrace the nature of unpredictability Every moment is a possibility to tune into our practice and ourselves. Let your breath be soft. Let your breath become clear and stable. Just breathe through your nose. Inhale and exhale. And as you breathe, try to reach toward your sit bones and toward the lower part of your body. As you exhale, let your weight get heavier, let your weight becomes more obvious. to give you a sense of ground and stability and when we breathe mindfully we're really helping our system to recalibrate to reawaken all the different inner sources we have for our own well-being for, for our own health actually so many answers are inside of us already so many remedies. So bring your palms together in Anjali Mudra. And today we're going to use our gentle practice to rebuild stability, to reconnect to clarity. So we might experience, you know, even though it seems like this period is coming to an end, we still don't know at all what's around the corner. What we know though is that we can build stability and clarity within ourselves so we are ready for what is around the corner. Take a deep inhale and exhale, release your head towards your own heart Thank yourself for being here, for navigating the unknown with me and this <coughs> technology we're all learning to navigate with and through. Open your eyes and um, take a moment to come onto your back here. So just push your props to the sides and when you really come onto your back, And you're not going to need anything to begin with, so simply lean back here. Turn your palms facing up, take a moment to reconnect to the breath behind your body, inhaling toward the mat, exhaling towards the mat also. Inhaling and bring your right knee towards your chest. Exhale and place your fingers behind the knee. 
and gently push the knee back into your hands and the right sit bones down into the ground. Inhale, lengthen your spine through your head. So get really clear here by sensing that both hips are at the same level. So your right hip is not closer to your ear than your left hip. So just bring your right hip more further away maybe. And then inhale, stretch your right leg. Interlace your fingers behind your right thigh or on the middle of the thigh. And gently reach your thigh back into your hands, reach your heel up as you reach your sit bone down. Spread your toes just to activate your legs. And take a few deep breaths and lengthen through your right heel, lengthen through the head. One deep breath, clear and flowy as you, as well as you can. And exhale, bend your knee and open your hips slightly to the side. Just you can place your right hand underneath your right knee here, so you helping yourself, so it's not an intense stretch. Take a few breaths here, supporting yourself with your right hand, right knee to the right. Mm. Inhale up and stretch your right leg on the ground. And just notice. This very subtle difference. Maybe the right leg feels a bit lighter, a bit clearer in your awareness. Inhale, left foot, left knee, sorry, toward the chest. Spread your toes, push your uh, knee into your hands. Reach your sit bone down and just play a little bit with building up length and clarity on your left side. reach through your right foot also like you experience length also on your right thigh. And inhale, right, sorry, left uh, heel to the sky, hands behind the thigh. You can roll your ankle a little bit, one side and then the other. And then reach your heel up, reach your sit bone down and reach your breath toward the top of your left thigh top of the crown extends inhale and exhale next time you exhale you can bend your knee Place your left elbow to the side a little bit and you can place your left foot down, left knee to the side, support your knee with your hand and breathe here really softly into the inside of your left thigh. Stretch your left leg, just take a moment. And as you're ready, you can bring your um, feet on the mat, bend your knees, roll onto your side, and come up onto your hands and knees here, onto all fours. Good. Move your feet back, your knees back, and take one of your blocks, place it between your thighs and hug the blocks into your thighs. So your thighs are about hip distance. You hug into the blocks, the block, and then walk your hands forward. Spread your toes, move, press into the block and then move the block back. Like you want to rotate your thighs and like you want to pass your block back more. Belly in and back. So imagine now you're really <sighs> passing your block back. Belly in and back, and up, sorry. And inhale, 
come jelly up reach for your belt and come back so that now you're standing on your feet the belt is close by the block is still between your thighs hug into the block thighs back grab your feet your belt and inhale come all the way up okay so now we are grabbing the belt and make a loop uh, with your belt here Okay, we're going to step into that loop, so it's about shins wide. Whoops. And then place the uh, block, to the um, strap, sorry, toward the middle of your, of, your, of your shins. So the thighs, you can tighten uh, the, the belt here so that it's hip distance. So we have the security here, and that's going to build stability and really clarity in the different joints, knees, hips, and ankles actually also. So hug into that, inhale, hug into the block, and try to push, spread, lift and spread your toes right here. And then try to push the shins, uh, skin a bit, out toward the side, arms up towards the sky, and exhale, bend your knees, reach your hips back, knees above your ankles more, hug into the block, pass the block back, Inhale, come up, exhale, bend your knees, thighs back, knees back, inhale up, exhale, bend again, yeah, push into the um, strap, move your thigh back, inhale and come back up, okay, so release your arms to the side, we're going to try that, now just bringing into a um, simple sun breath, so come to your mat so you have space, Press into the block with your thighs, push, lift and spread your toes or engage your legs and push into the belt here. Inhale, hands to the sky. From your pelvis, reach down into the ground, pull your belly in and up towards your chest. Exhale, bend both knees and come all the way down. Okay. Inhale, chest forward, thighs back and wide as you widen the belt also and exhale down. Hands to your hips, elbows to the sky. Inhale, come all the way up, hands to the sky. And exhale down. So basically, the legs are doing two opposite actions. The shin stays stay in, and yet we're pushing into them just to engage because we're safe here. We're, they're not going to move. And the thighs goes wide, but we engage toward the uh, block. And then try to broaden your thigh like you want to lose the block. Okay, try that. Exhale, bend both knees. Inhale, forward, and exhale, bow. Reach down into the earth, come all the way up. And exhale, arms to the side. Okay, so now relax the tension in your muscles and your legs for a moment and try that. Because now the props are really helping you to do the um, therapeutics alignment really. That's what it is about. Inhale, hands to the sky, bend your knees slightly, and exhale, come all the way down. Inhale, chest forward, exhale and bow. Press into your feet, inhale, come all the way back up. Belly in, watch out, your hips are not popping forward, but they stay above your ankles. And exhale, hands to the sides. Okay, let's do that two more. Inhale up, exhale, bend your knees, but back and come all the way down. Inhale, chest forward, Exhale and bow. Bend your knees slightly. Inhale with the chest forward. Come all the way up. Arms to the sides. And exhale, hands to your chest. Good. Walk like this. It's a bit funny, but try to find a wall here, a wall space. We're going to go toward the wall. Whoops. With the shin and, um, I mean, the, the strap and the block. And then Find the hands on the wall here. Bend your knees slightly so you don't push into the back of the knees. And bring your hands a bit higher than your hips. So often we go a bit too far down, so try to be aware of that. Spread your fingers, hug your hands toward each other, 
Now bend your knees and like you did before when you went all the way down. Let your chest go toward the floor. Keep your hands on the wall though. Now lift your armpits and melt the upper back. So we did that a little bit last week. Now we're focusing more on the legs today. So yeah, you can engage your legs and just try to do the action like you didn't have the props. Shins hug in and thighs go wide. Okay, now relax your muscles a little bit and trust the support of the props. From the chest reach into the ground, into the uh, wall, sorry, and then from the chest reach back with clarity and stability through your tailbone. Take one more deep breath here. Inhale, look forward and slowly come up away from the wall. Okay. Remove your props from your body. Go back to your mat and just notice how you're walking. So maybe walk very slow and walk a little bit around on your mat and just try to keep that distance between your feet like you still had the props around. Okay, so that's a subtle adjustment. So when we work with aligning and, and doing therapeutics with the legs, the shins and um, the pelvis, that's gonna be felt all the way into your lower back, but also all the way up actually in the rest of your spine. So um, now we've been at the wall, let's use the wall a little more. Bring your mat toward the wall. And you're gonna use a block and a blanket. So place the blanket um, one meter or so away from the wall. So we're gonna protect our knee here. Place your left knee on the blanket. And you can step your right foot towards the wall and place a, the block between your knee and the wall here, like I'm doing. Okay? So, it can be on whatever version, just make sure you don't drop the block. Then from uh, the floor, stay onto your toes here on the left foot. When you feel settled, pull energy from the earth up through your pelvis, and from your pelvis, press into the block and reach your hands up into the sky. Now pull the belly in and up, reach your heart up. And exhale, bring your fingertips on the wall. Walk the fingertips up, press into the um, wall through the block with your knee, but back belly in, chest up, and reach your left hand up. Pull the belly in and reach up. So you're gonna stretch here on the left side. Okay, bring your left hand down. Point your left toes back now, and uh, push into the toes on the mat and then you're going to imagine you drag your left knee forward hard up and reach your chest up 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 and slightly back so we're going to go more not for the back bend of the chest but really from the stretch of the front uh, foot here okay and release Okay, other side, so right knee down, left foot forward, bring your heel, uh, your ankle, sorry, under your knee. Just gonna adjust this one. Good, so stay on your toes first, fingertips on the wall, press into the wall, belly in and up, and chest up. Lengthen your torso, press into the wall through the block, and into the toes on the back foot. Chest up, right hand up, inhale, and exhale. Good, bring your hand down, point your toes back, pull the right knee forward as you lift your um, right hand up again, maybe left hand up also, belly in and up, and then keep pushing into the wall as you reach your heart up. So pushing through the left knee is going to make your lower back more stable. So belly in and up 
and then reach. Maybe you go deeper than what you usually do. Get clear and stable, the most important steps here. And exhale, gently release. Okay. Now just remove um, the block, move away from the belt, from the blanket, and bring your blanket closer to the wall. So I have the radiator here, but you imagine my wall is a radiator. Okay, so I'm just putting my blanket here where the um, wall starts. And um, I'm going to turn away from the wall and leave the left toes on the wall, bring the knee toward the wall. Right foot is in front. So here, if you have your block, you can start with your block, and maybe it's going to be very intense if your psoas muscle, the front of your thigh, is really um, burning my toes here, <coughs> is really tight. So point your toes up. Mine is pretty open, so I can move relatively, relatively close to the wall. If that's not the case, you can bring your left knee forward, okay, for you. Inhale, move your hips toward the wall until your point, and then pull the belly in, press into the wall through your toes. The toes are pointing up, as you, I hope you can see, and then left hand up. Pull the belly in, hips back. maybe right hand up and then from your pelvis reach down into the ground and up through the sky push really through the floor for, for stability first and then clear and lift breathe here move the breath towards the left knee up towards your hands and exhale to the ground And we're going to switch. Left foot forward, right knee on the blanket. Point your toes up. So my heel is slightly toward the outside of my buttock. Press into the uh, radiator here. And then pull the right knee forward. Inhale, right hand up. Take your time. That's really intense. You're just going to stay here with your hands in front and move your butt slowly closer to the wall. Point your toes up, inhale, right hand up, belly in, and straight through the middle of your right knee, and then up to your right hand. Maybe both hands up, hips back, belly in, and reach up. Lengthen, lengthen. And exhale. Release may be really intense. Walk a bit away from the wall and find child's pose from my knees wide, big toes together, hands in front of you, and forehead to the ground. Good, just breathe towards the top of your thighs and the outside, outer hips, outside of your hips. Just notice the sensations in your pelvis in between your hips right here, right now. As you exhale, allow that sp spot in your body, that space, to become softer, clearer. So what's getting softer and clearer actually brings more stability. Like if you clean your house or declutter, like a lot of people are doing right now, a lot of us, and clutter our houses as we spend more time inside, it will give a stronger sense of stability, a sense of home, safe refuge we can come back to more easily. Exhale, slow. And inhale. Come back. Uh, okay. We're going to um, 
you can move back away uh, from the wall again. Um, yeah, we're going to go back to the wall, but just remove so you have a bit more space. Don't go too far away from the wall. And then grab your blocks here. Um, and you're going to move your blanket toward the space where it's going to be under your knees if you were in all fours. And place your, um, I'm going to do this this way, the right knee, right foot forward. Okay. Now make sure your knee is just at the edge of the blanket because we're going to need the space in front of us. Place one of your blocks onto um, toward the middle of your thigh, about that. And then come up on fingertips and place your thigh onto the block here. Okay. Then uh, bring your hands onto your front knee. Now we're going to kind of land here on the block a bit more. And the only thing we're going to manipulate here is to press into the back toes to massage a little bit the psoas muscle, like the front of the, of the leg. So here I, mean, I keep one hand on my knee, one hand on the ground, or it can be also one hand on the on a left hand on the block. And kind of go a little bit back and forth, very soft to notice, you know, can roll a little bit your thigh onto the block also. And then move the block a bit more forward, which is a bit more tricky because this is where often where tension is. So go really slow, rolling a little bit from side to side might help. And breathe into any intensity. And again, a lot of, I know my hips are so tight inside, like even though it's open outside, there's still a lot of tightness. This is often where we stuck, uh, where we get stuck, where we stock emotions and and tightness for safety. It's all related to safety. Maybe even a bit higher, which is very tricky. So be gentle with the top of your thigh, and then move back even toward the space just in front of your knee, because the psoas attaches uh, right there. And I'm moving a little bit, but you don't have to move. You can also just explore, just staying one spot and breathe there. Lean forward a little more. Explore very slow from left to right and then back. Okay, and then lift your thigh and move the block. Come onto your knees. Just come up here, stand on your knees just to notice any difference. And then bring your left foot forward. Okay. Left hand can be on your knee. Then find lift the knee up. Okay, let's start close to the knee and then we'll go up. So basically we don't really need the blanket right now. <coughs> but up la. okay. Just in front of the knee and then you can breathe here. Get stable and clear but also soft, you know, staying bringing tension in awareness. It's what's going to help dissolve the tension. It's like bringing something uncomfortable in awareness is going to what make it dissolve instead of pushing it away. So just let yourself be gentle here and mindful of where intensity is. Moving slightly upper and further and further up on the thigh. And more up. I'll just, just hang out there and see what spots 
what spot calls you. Breathe, that's <laughs> intensity comes in. And inhale, lift and down. Okay, so move your um, block to the side and okay, step forward into Uttanasana, forward bend. So actually just bring your blocks so you have them under your hands. Now bring your, um, cross your legs so the right leg is in front of the left, okay? And move your feet wider, so I'm facing you, so you're going to see. The hip distance a bit wider than that, okay? And right here, lift and spread your toes and press the top of the thighs, or like just above the knees where the legs cross, away from each other and reach through the inside of the feet, big toe mount, inner heel. And reach your thighs back. So here we're going to go into what you call the IT band. It's a very often very t um, tight part of our body. It's like more like a ligament. It's not really a, a muscle, but it's. Um, I mean, it's not a ligament. Uh, <coughs> a tissue. Part of the fascia. Exhale, as you move your thighs back, you can reach your heart forward, but keep grounding through the inside of your feet. Inhale, and use your blocks just to get more space. Okay, and as you're ready, you can switch, so the right leg goes back now. And reach the big toe mount as you pull your thighs back. Inhale and exhale down. Okay, to allow yourself to get stable, to ground through the four corners of the feet. And gently begin to pull the base of the little toe back also toward the outer heel. And you knee a little bit. And release Uttanasana. Okay, just stay here in Uttanasana, normal forward bend. Notice again where you are, what's under your feet, how connected to the earth you are right now and how you experience that connection. Okay, bend your knees and come back okay, to your knees. <coughs> Place your block toward the middle of a bit lower than the middle of your mat. We're going to continue with the IT bend here. Right elbow down. Place your hips just like at the edge of the blocks. And now it's going to be, so camp, come, stay on your right elbow, strain your legs, try not to engage your muscles too much, and you're going to roll your leg onto the block. And this is where you're going to say, whoa, 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 whoa. It's really tight if your AT band is tight. Move a little bit up and down the block. So kind of using the face of the block or the corner of the block. Okay, so you need something a bit firm here, like a pillow won't work. But you can use a block, a book or some and a blanket on top or something like that. Okay, so the AT band goes all the way down, but we're gonna stay on the thigh. Roll slowly rocking back and forth. And come slowly down and we're gonna go to the other side. So left elbow down, hips on the block. 
it's a practice you can come back to you know if you need some grounding at the beginning or at the end of the day or if you experience being taken up like you have to make big decisions or you feel a bit overwhelmed by not knowing or just gonna ground you into your legs and into a sense of inner hopefully stability yeah so rocking I haven't done that in a time, in a while, so I can also feel tension there. Yeah, so if you go back to this exercise, you can do that a bit longer also. And gently come out. Okay. <coughs> okay, if you have a few blankets here, it's just nice to pad a little better. We're going to take one of them and um, unfold it and place it uh, like about that size toward the middle so you, your um, knees are there and then take another one and you're going to roll it um, I would say pretty thick roll so probably something like that will work Okay, so I folded my blanket into two, depending on the size of your blanket. Okay, let's start with the toes tucked under and place your, um, actually place it closer to the knees first and then lean back. So <coughs> massaging the calf muscles, which is also a bit challenging sometimes. So just here at the top, but back and then lean back onto your shins. That's too intense for your toes. Try being, it's a bit more intense for the calves also, uh, on with the toes pointing back. So you can use your arms just to release if that's too much weight and too much intensity, but breathe here. Come slightly out if you need, and then you can come back a little bit. It's also, if you're running, you're probably feeling them right now even though it's just a very tight place also it can be really difficult to stretch appropriately good and then we're going to move uh, back up and just move the blanket a little bit long um, more down like toward the middle of your of your leg more of the middle of the shin so slightly lower and then lean back <sighs> soften down again it's intense so Step out if you need to, and come back. And then you can slowly move the blanket towards the base of the calf or close to the ankle, so a bit lower down. Pause here. your breath go toward the ground again one more breath inhale and come up okay well it's also a bit intense bring yourself onto your buttock and uh, you can keep your blanket as it is we're gonna go into a restorative virasana one actually two blocks it's going to be nice it's a bit higher um, and place your bolster on top of the so I'm doing like two blocks like a mini stair and and placing the um, this one on top so what I'm going to do is to use the blanket I had and fold toward the top half like toward the middle so it's like one that's one quarter folded above the other quarter another quarter okay and I'm going to place this quarter closer to the beginning of the bolster so just to support the lower back it's going to be nice 
And here, if you have another blanket, that might be helpful. I'm going to show you why. So we're going to step in front, one leg on each side on the bent knees, one knee on each side of the beginning of the bolster. So, and I'm going to actually place my hips in front of the bolster. And this is where the extra blanket can be nice if you want to be a bit higher um, because it's tight. And then leaning back here, so the toes on the blanket can move uh, your sitting sole. So if you want to knee on the blanket and then lean back here and support it, opening the psoas, opening the chest. <sighs> That's really not working for your knees. <coughs> you can simply cross, bring your feet together and let your knees fall to the side uh, instead in Supta Padakonasana. Otherwise, right here, we're going to make sure the knees are pointing straight forward. They're not open to the side, they're pointing straight. And take a few deep breaths here when you lean back. Just try to relax your toes and feet. Let your back lean into the blanket, the cushion. Keep breathing here and allow the top of the thighs to soften even more. for a few more breaths or a variation can be to stretch your arms just to gonna increase the stress in the top of the psoas so you can reach your arms overhead and grab your elbows let your breath intensify and clarify your arms and exhale 
really is just to come out. You can place your hands on the mat and softly lean onto one side and then up. Good. Okay, and could come out, lean onto one side and mm. sit there for a moment. Keep your eyes closed, let your head get used to an upright position. And for our last pose here, still working the anchor or that stability and clarity in the legs and lower body um, at the wall with legs up the wall. So move slowly. We're going to have to redo our little setting here. You can move your extra blankets and bolster and blocks can be on the side. Okay, so you can leave if you had the blanket on top of your mat you can leave it here and go back to your wall um, and we've done that in another gentle class a recorded class if you've seen it bolster on the other side alongside the wall okay so as wide like on the parallel with the short end of the mat and to come up here, it's always a little bit funny. You're gonna bring your, just a blanket next to you if you want the blanket on top of you. So I'm gonna uh, show it on that side. So we're gonna have to sit with the heels at the wall, knees bent. Try to bring your buttock almost at the wall, as close to the wall as you can, on the bolster, okay? And then bring, uh, so here I'm on my right, so right elbow down. Then I'm gonna roll onto the bolster here and slowly bringing left and right hip on the bolster so my heels are touching the wall and that's too much you can move the bolster a bit away otherwise you can keep here you don't don't worry so much about having a buttock at the wall it's it's okay if it's not there but make sure the bolster is really supporting your lower back curve. Now the head is facing up, so don't look at your screen so much anymore, but let your point, your nose, sorry, point up and make sure you can place one hand underneath your neck so you can notice the natural curve of the neck. So we don't want the flat neck because this is not the natural curve. Just align with nature and let your neck be naturally curved. Okay, right way we are. I mean, um, you can, if your strap is nearby, you can place your strap between your shins. Uh, otherwise, just stay where you are and close your eyes. And we're going to take Shavasana here. Take a few breaths. And as you exhale through the mouth, allow your legs to be heavy, your weight to descend. Mm. And the extra treat, I would say, here in this pose is having the hips higher the, and the natural curve in the neck is going to activate a soothing dimension in your nervous system. So it's just going to calm the system even more because there's a bit more weight on top of the neck here. So be very gentle with that. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, soften.
So this pose is really something you can also do on your own and on its own. I love to do that pose before I go to bed. After a long day, or especially if you feel stressed, like you don't have time for practice, it's if you were to put only one pose, I really recommend this one. And allow your breath to really settle. Reconnect to the really healing power of your breath. The breath is so powerful. Often when we forget to breathe, our system begins to degenerate. So breathing mindfully, mindfully and deeply, definitely heals and balances. I'm gonna slightly <coughs> start to wrap up here, but if you feel called to, I really encourage you, if that's possible for you, to stay here and you can just let me be a voice in the background. Okay, and if you're stepping, it's also <coughs> appropriate for you to step out. You can bend your knees and bring your feet together. Knees to the sides. Breathe here. And very softly roll your knees to the right and use your hands to carefully come out of the pose. And simply take a seat here on your blanket, on your mat, on your pillow. Close your eyes, bring your palms onto your chest, onto your spiritual heart, the inner space of the inner heart. And let all your awareness land into your chest for now. Notice, notice the clarity of that space. What do you notice in your experience right now? And place one hand on your lower belly, like as close as to your hips as possible. And use your hand on your belly now to sense the space of the hips, of the pelvis. And breathe in into your pelvis as you could invite a sense of clarity and exhale and become more stable in your pelvis. Bring both palms together in Anjali. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Bow your head to your own heart, to your hands. And may this practice help us remain stable and clear through the rest of our day and through the week to come. May we invite and inspire stability and clarity in the environments and people around us. Thank you so much for your practice and I hope you'll um, be back together with me on Sunday next week for a gentle practice. Also, Anya is having a gentle practice on Saturdays and maybe even before. So stay tuned. Thank you so much. Namaste. Enjoy the rest of your day.